Disconnect any electrical components from main power before performing the following procedure. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two retaining screws from the rear of the power stance tongue jack's head cover assembly. Remove the two Phillips head screws retaining the bezel to the head cover. Remove the rubber cap that conceals the manual override access port. Remove the two Phillips head screws contained within. You can now separate the head cover from the body of the power stance tongue jack. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the two screws connecting the bezel to the interior of the head cover assembly. It will help to label the wires using electrical tape for later. Disconnect the four spade connectors running to the switch and disconnect the LED power connection clips. The bezel can now be removed from its housing guide rails. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, disconnect the two-way port from the jack motor bus connector. The bezel can now be completely uninstalled from the power stance tongue jack. To replace the power stance tongue jack bezel, begin by using a Phillips head screwdriver to install the two-way port harness to the jack motor bus connector. Reconnect the spade connectors to the switch and the LED power connection clips to the LED circuit. Slide the bezel back into its guide rails to dry fit it into the bezel housing. With a Phillips head screwdriver, install two mounting screws to secure the bezel to the interior of the head cover assembly. Dry fit the power stance tongue jack's head cover onto the head cover assembly. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, install two retaining screws into the mounting points inside of the manual override access port. Reinstall the access port's rubber cap. Install two Phillips head bezel retention screws near the LED. Install two retaining screws on the rear side of the head cover assembly to complete the head cover installation.